Hey, are you looking to move to Toronto? Well, whether it's your first time living alone or your first time owning a home, this video is for you. I'm Sandra Namato, and if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play in Toronto, make sure you tap the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And honestly, we get so many phone calls and emails and texts every single day from people moving here. We just love to help them. So even if you're thinking about moving anywhere in the Toronto or GTA area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us an email, or hit the Calendly link below to book an appointment. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when you're moving to Toronto. Now let's watch Bali's journey in discovering if it's the right time for her. I've been in real estate for 15 years, so I know buying a home can be tough. Buying on your own, even tougher. Especially if you're like Bali, a school teacher who's always lived at home. You live with your parents in the suburbs. No woman in her family has ever bought real estate on her own. It's difficult to break away from tradition. I'm still a little afraid to take that step. Bali's gonna need a push to take the real estate plunge. Can you imagine how you'll feel? Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. She won't be doing it alone, but she will be doing it by herself. My name is Bali and I'm 35 years old. I am a teacher and I have lived at home with my parents my whole life. Okay, bye. Enjoy your day. Okay. Bye. bye, Dad. My parents are originally from India. In Indian culture, it's very typical for kids to stay with their parents until they're married. My younger sister already has her own place because she's married. I wasn't feeling too great about that because I put a lot of time and energy into a relationship that ultimately didn't work out. And I think that has propelled me to kind of, you know, take care of myself. No other woman in my family has bought a house by herself. But I really think it's time for me to step out on my own and, uh, you know, spread my wings and fly the nest. Bali was raised with traditional family values, but she feels it's time to break out and claim her own space. Bali has lived her whole life in the suburbs and she's looking to buy where she feels comfortable. I'm going to see if that's the right fit for her. Hi, Bali. How Hi, are you? Sandra. Sandra is that person that I was waiting for to come and help me. Where's your room? This is me. So why now? What changed? This is something that I've wanted for years and I just really thought that it would happen with um, a significant other and have that, you know, that big reason to get your own place. Um, other than just because I want it. A lot of women from my culture and your culture go from the security of their dad's arms or the parent's arms into the security of their husband's arms. I got married because it was the next thing I was supposed to do. I wish it had worked out for me, but I think it was absolutely important that I went through that experience so that the real me could come out and that is a much stronger, courageous person. And that's what I'm seeing with you. You probably don't even know this, but you had a huge part in just helping me put everything together. I heard Sandra talking about her show on the radio and I, I really felt that she was talking um, directly to me. You, um, you know, answered my call or answered my prayer, I should say, and oh. I really felt that that was the event that I needed to <gasps> propel me forward. Oh, wow. You know, I'm thrilled to hear that, and I'm thrilled to be here, and I want to help you. What is in your heart when you're picturing your new home? One of the first things that's really important to me is just having big, open windows. Love it. Natural light's a proven pick-me-up. Who doesn't love a bright, cheery home? What about a kitchen? Do you have specifics? I've uh, pictured myself in like a really modern kitchen. I love to bake, I love to cook. Mom's taught me Punjabi cooking, so a kitchen would be a really central part of my home. So I'm gonna make it my mission to find Bali her dream kitchen. This is my newly renovated bathroom. Beautiful. I got rid of the tub. What I love is the shower head with the whole waterfall thing. So you're talking about finding an ensuite bath that has a full size shower, not a tub. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's specific. Yeah. <laughs> so ideally, how many bathrooms would you like in your, in your new home? Um, a minimum of two. A big kitchen and two baths, that's not cheap. Let's see if Bali's got the budget to back it up. Living with parents has its perks. Bali's been able to save a whopping $260,000 for a down payment. She'll have a maximum mortgage of $250,000 because she's capped her budget at $510,000. With a mortgage of $250,000, her monthly payments would be $1,118. You probably want some advice from friends. I'm bringing my sister Karen. I trust her with my life. 
I'm definitely pushing for her to find a nice place that's close to home. I think that's going to be the best fit for her. And I'm also bringing a very good friend of mine, Andrea. She's bought her own place and done the whole independent thing. I would like to see Val buy a condo downtown because I think that she's a young, vibrant woman and I think she should use this time in her life to take advantage of everything that the city has to offer. We're talking about two very different things here. A house versus a condo, downtown versus suburbs. Mm -hmm. What is your lifestyle? Um, I never really thought about that before. Val's lived at home her whole life and I think it's time for her to take a risk. She can be a little emotional sometimes, so I definitely think being closer to home is gonna be helpful to her. Andrea's talking about a radical change, and Kieran's talking about staying within your comfort zone. Both are very important. I feel like this might be my opportunity to go in a whole new direction, and that's frightening for me, but it's super exciting as well. Bali doesn't know whether she wants to live in the city or the suburbs, a house or a condo. So my challenge is to show Bali all of her lifestyle options and help her get there. So I've chosen two condos and one house to show Bali. The first home I'm showing her is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom corner unit condo that's a 10-minute streetcar ride from downtown. It gets tons of natural light and it's listed at $479,000. Bali's bringing her sister Karen to check out condo life. Go on and have a look. Oh wow, there's lots of light. With lots of great windows. And also, you don't have a neighbor on that side, which means more privacy. The kitchen uh, does look dated. The counters, the cupboards. The kitchen in this place is just not up to our standards. I'm picky about the way things look. The kitchen decor may be slightly outdated, but I'm showing Bali this condo because of its pedestrian-friendly location. As a woman here on your own, you can just walk outside, grab a coffee, go for lunch, and if you want to go out at night, there's pubs and other nightlife. It's very happening here. There are a lot of people there, so there's safety in numbers here. If you were to live here, how long would it take you to get you know, uh, back into Pickering. It's about a 40 minute drive from here. It's not five minutes up the street. I can live with the 40 minutes. I, I have a problem with her being by herself. So for me, it's a comfort thing to know that she would be close to family. This is your guest bathroom. Oh, oh good. It has a shower. That's good. And this is wow, the this master. Is nice. You were talking about the big window in your bedroom and this delivers. Just the fact that I can kind of have the space to walk in like this? <laughs> As opposed to jumping in? <laughs> what would you normally do? A bathroom. It's all white, neutral. It's just, it's not anything wow. It's always difficult to have a brand new reno where you are and then to try to mimic that mm -hmm. in your new space. But overall, the bathroom, you know, it, it serves its purpose. I picked this two bed, two bath corner unit condo to show Bali because its multiple windows give her the natural light she wants and it's in a vibrant neighborhood just minutes from downtown so that she can enjoy the company of her peers and not just her parents. Listed at $479,000, Bali's down payment of $260,000 would make her monthly mortgage payments $980. How are you feeling about this whole condo versus house in the suburbs thing? Personally, I'm starting to lean towards being in a condo space because you showed us a great place today, but the drawback is it's not slick. So if this condo had more modern upgrades, would you buy it? I would seriously consider this place. But we're making progress. Seems like a condo can deliver. We just need to see more options. So I'm going to show Bali a suburban home too. She has to decide for herself if she's a city girl or a suburbanite. Coming up... I've always wanted a bay window. Bali's budget gets her more square footage, but there's a well. downside. How many single men live out here in suburbia? Are you using real estate as a dating service? It never worked for me. <laughs>My client Bali's looking for a home by herself, and she's the first woman in her family to break tradition by doing so. I just showed her a condo in a happening downtown neighborhood, but the kitchen was too outdated for her. Bali's trying to decide between a downtown condo and a suburban house, so I'm going to show her this two-bedroom bungalow that's only 10 minutes from her parents' house. It's a half-hour drive from downtown Toronto. Listed at $499,000, I picked this house for Bali because of its huge bay window and fabulous outdoor space. Come on in! Bali's bringing her friend Andrea to check out this home. So this is your living room. I have to tell you, like, I've always wanted a bay window. I aim to please. 
It has California shutters that would cost you about $1,000 or more to put in, so there's value there. And when you're buying a place on your own, you want to count every penny. All right, let's go check out this dining room. My concern is that it's going to be one of those rooms that I just don't use. I don't like the feeling of seeing empty rooms. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why did you want a house again? <laughs> I just want my dishes to see the light of day. <laughs> you can still buy your china cabinet, mm -hmm. but displayed in, you know, your one space in a condo downtown. As crazy as it sounds, moving into a condo for me is like moving to a country where I don't speak the language. I know that you're looking to meet somebody. How many single men live out here in suburbia? Are you using real estate as a dating service? It never worked for me. <laughs> the suburbs are a place to raise a family, but not to meet somebody. You can meet a guy at work. We're elementary school teachers. <laughs> she is not going to meet a man at work. Touche. <laughs> well, let's check out this kitchen. I already love the kitchen. It's not overwhelmingly big in here. It's got these great drawers, like big drawers. And tons of counter space. Great for someone who loves to bake. So here's your dine-in part of the kitchen because you said you're not going to use your dining room. Here well, you are. You know what? This is more casual. This is more me. I really don't think you need a separate dining area. What do you think? I mean, you can eat here on a daily basis, but also entertain here. That's a hard push for a condo. She's wanting yeah. you downtown, girl. <laughs> but look, you will not get this in a condo. It's a multi-level deck. There is maintenance, however. You will have to paint the fence, cut the lawn, keep that garden weeded. You know what, Sandra, I say bring it on because that's the kind of stuff that I'm, you know, born to do. <laughs> you were born to I weed. Was born to weed. She talks about gardening, but honestly, I don't think she's ever gardened a day in her life. So here's the spare bathroom. It's pretty big. Yeah, there's lots of space in here. And the spare bedroom. This is a good size. Does this house have a security system? It does have an alarm system. We want to double check that every window in the house has a contact on it that will ring if the alarm is set. High security is always a great idea for a single woman. Shall we check out the master? There's lots of room in this bedroom. I want to show you the bathroom over here. This ensuite has a shower stall, which you wanted. It's a little um, dated, Val, don't you think? It's depressing. That door is dating the shower stall. If you replaced it with clear glass with a nice modern handle for under $1,000, it's done in 15 minutes. It's not a renovation. The whole house has been really gorgeous, and then it's like, with the bathrooms. Are you gonna let that talk you out of this house? It may not be perfect, but I showed this house to Bali because it's five minutes from her parents, making it a safe first home buy. Bali would get a lot of square footage per dollar with this home thanks to its suburban location. It's listed at a reasonable $499,000. With Bali's down payment of $260,000, that would give her a monthly mortgage of $1,069. So many things on my wish list are right here in this house, but it's a bit too much space for me. Mm -hmm. You get a pretty good idea of what you're gonna get in a home in the suburbs. You still need a little bit more experience in seeing condos. That whole condo idea is so unfamiliar to me. So we need to spend more time in a condo to see if it really is gonna work for you. And you'll know. Now that this whole process has become a reality, I'm seeing that, you know, there's more out there than I had considered. Bali is busting through the walls of tradition and becoming her own woman by buying real estate on her own. But the suburban house she pictured herself in doesn't feel right, so I need to show her more condos. Coming up... I just feel unsure. Bali gets another taste of condo life. It looks really different than any other kitchen I've seen. Yes, because you live with your parents in the suburbs! My client Bali is breaking tradition by buying a home on her own. I've shown her a condo in the city and a house in the suburbs, but Bali needs to see another condo to picture herself living the downtown life. This downtown condo I'm about to show Bali has a gorgeous European design. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, plus a den. It's in a prime location near the city's lakefront and still comes in under budget at $490,000. Bali's bringing her sister Karen to see the space. And it's really nice to have a foyer. Not every condo has one. I love that it's got that feel of a home. This is my kind of kitchen. I haven't seen a kitchen this nice in this price point in a long time. This kitchen is chock full of amenities. There's storage here, there's cabinetry here, and up on top of there, you put baskets, you can store things in them. Check this out. This pulls out, gives you more countertop space. The fan is, is great. And we have European-style appliances. 
I'm just trying to get my head around the fact that it looks really different than any other kitchen I've seen. Yes, because you live with your parents in the suburbs. It's kind of difficult to break away from tradition when it's the only thing you've ever known. And here is your living space. If I knew how to do this kind of decorating, this is exactly how I would do it. Okay, but I just want you to realize that this place has been staged to look like this, so this isn't the way. I know I'm just that. saying, this isn't I the know way it's staged it would look. And can't deny it. it looks really good. Oh, of course, it, there's no denying that it looks good, but I don't okay. get blinded by, you know, the nice furniture. I like the fact that they've done it for you. It takes the guesswork out of it, and it lets you focus on other things. Look at the doors on this den. I love them. Enclosed dens are kind of rare in condos, so the doors are a major plus. You know what, Sandra? It's uh, a strange shaped room. It is. That's because there's a fabulous balcony that wraps the entire condo, and it's circular. And this is your guest bathroom. The reason why you want to have a bathtub is you could sell this to a family, or if you were to grow a family in here, you want a bathtub with kids. Beautiful, bright master bedroom. So here, you have to check this out. It's your shower stall. I really, really like the shower. The shower head's fantastic. The subway tiles. And the fact that there's no bathtub, that was specific on your wish that list. That was a big deal. Yeah. And very modern. You don't have to do a thing in here. Love the bathroom. It's really, really sleek and modern. Uh, very clean, just really, really nice. Water closet, very European. Oh, okay. That's different, Sandra. <laughs> Water closets are standard in many upscale homes. Can you imagine walking through that front door after a day's work and walking in and this is your place? It's something that's super exciting. And, uh, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I love this condo for Bali. I showed it to her because its modern European styling and finishes are gorgeous. It's huge and even has a den with enclosed doors, a rare find which pumps up resale value. Listed at $490,000, Bali's sizable down payment of $260,000 would make her monthly mortgage payments $1,030. Without a doubt, um, this place is fantastic. It's more than I imagined, but I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. Um, I just feel unsure. And my whole purpose of being here is to make sure that you're comfortable with this purchase, that it's the right time, right place, and right price. I can imagine myself in a place like this, but it's gonna take, uh, it's gonna take a big leap for me. Bali's torn between two worlds. She thinks she wants that downtown lifestyle, but when she sees it, she just can't imagine herself living it. She clings to what's comfortable. If she's gonna move forward, she's gotta make a decision one way or another. So let's look at the three homes I've shown Bali. The corner unit condo with tons of windows in a great neighborhood. The bungalow in the suburbs with the bay window and multi-level deck. And the European style two bedroom plus one condo that looks like it jumped right off the pages of a magazine. Bali should go for the suburban home because it's gonna be close to family, um, everything is gonna be close by, and it's that little step to taking a really big step. Val should buy the condo that looks like it came from the pages of a magazine. It's time for her to break free from suburbia and adopt that downtown lifestyle. Do you know where you want to go, what direction we're taking, suburb versus city? I'm still all over the place. You're finding it very difficult to lead the way. You don't have any role models to say, oh, well, my mother did it or my aunt did it or my sister. You are the first, and that is always more challenging because you second guess yourself along the way. So let's stop second guessing. Let's stop making this person happy and that person and what will they think and what will they say. Let's focus on you. Let's figure out what it's gonna take to make you happy. Don't let go of that. That's part of your dream. I think, you know, like even you coming along is, is really one of those things that I pretty much got everything that I asked for because I needed help and, um, you know, and there you are. And, um, you know, the door is open. <laughs> uh, but I'm still a little afraid to take that step. I know. I know. Coming up, which road will Bali take? So how are we going to get you there? My client Bali is buying a home on her own. I've shown her three homes. The corner unit condo with tons of natural light in a vibrant neighborhood that's minutes away from the downtown core. The suburban bungalow with the bay window and great outdoor space. And the condo that looks straight out of a magazine with its European styling. So which home will Bali pick? So how are we going to get you there? 
Um, you know what, I, I really think that I already know what my decision is, what my answer is, and um, what I'd really like for myself. Is there one place that I've shown you that you want to buy? It was the condo that you showed me that, um, that I thought was, you know, out of the magazine because it just kind of popped and it was just so different from anything that I've seen. I like the look of that place and I like the feel of it. And uh, it pretty much had everything on my wish list and more. I love that condo! I love it for you, I love it, period. I want to go get you that condo. You ready? I hope I don't lose it because, um, because it's taken me so long to get to this point. Well, I'm gonna give you a big hug because I'm so happy for you. Thank and I'm you. gonna, let's write up the deal, let's go do it. We're offering $485,000, $5,000 under asking. Let's see if they accept it. You guys have done this before, but I feel like I'm about to have a meltdown. Fingers crossed. Positive thoughts, yeah. positive thoughts. Oh, there she is. Sandra. Sandra, what's the news? You got it! Oh, yeah. There you go! It's a scream to the air. We're all found. So, so thrilled for oh. you. You got the beautiful magazine condo for $485. We got it for $5,000 under asking. Out of the burbs, Val, it's about time. I know I was all burbs, 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 but you know what? I'm just so excited that you got this place. You know what? Just but... sign your life away. <laughs> this is you what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Well, I'm very proud of you. It took a lot of courage to do this, and you've taken a huge step into this new life of yours. To the New Valley. Valley. Cheers. Cheers. You know what? Part of me feels like a bit of a rebel, um, because being a Punjabi girl who's not married, just moving because it's time for me to move and have my own place, um, it feels really empowering, and I'm really, I'm, I'm proud of myself. For Bali, the home buying journey took her to a whole new world. In the end, she set aside tradition, realized her dreams, and she did it by herself. You know what, the condo is so beautiful, and I can't wait to get in there. Um, you know what, the whole thing has been like a dream come true for me, so actually being able to find a place, and you know, there were moments where I thought that I wasn't gonna find a place. Um, it's just everything's come together. It feels fantastic. For more information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca. If you're getting ready to move in or around Toronto, please reach out to me with the information in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. See ya.